Now, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in the UAE for a visit with his counterpart, Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed, who says Russia is, quote, a strategic partner for the UAE. Now, Mr. Lavrov arrived in Abu Dhabi Tuesday and will now head to Saudi Arabia and Qatar. Dan Murphy has been watching this all for us and joins us now from Dubai. Dan. Hi there, Hadley. Well, Russia calling. That's right. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov is on tour in the Middle East. Lavrov, of course, meeting with Gulf leaders to discuss Russia's interests in the region, including business partnerships and energy cooperation. Now, just yesterday, we saw Lavrov meeting with UAE leaders. Russia and the UAE have, of course, found a very comfortable embrace in recent years, particularly in the energy arena. The two countries share the table at OPEC+, Plus, but they're also looking to expand cooperation in areas like power generation, industry, agriculture, infrastructure, and even space. Now, despite the pandemic, Russia-UAE trade jumped by almost 80% last year, reaching an all-time high of $3.27 billion. Remember as well, Russia's Sputnik vaccine is being clinically trialed in the UAE, and the two countries also have stakes in the conflict in Yemen and particularly in Syria, where they're aligned on the view that US sanctions are ultimately undermining a regional rapprochement effort to stabilize the conflict there. Moscow also looking to enhance its status in the region broadly. And this trip also includes a stopover in Saudi Arabia and Qatar, as you mentioned. But what's also really interesting here, Hadley, is that Lebanon is also getting a look in with Prime Minister Saad Hariri touching down in Abu Dhabi to meet with the Russians. Now, we know they're cooperating on the vaccine rollout in Lebanon, but there's much more at stake here as well, right? No doubt about it. I mean, Saad Hariri getting a look in from the Russian foreign minister yesterday, essentially, is what we saw. It was on his Twitter. It was on his Instagram. I mean, has Saad been here all this time? Because remember back on February 19th or so, we saw that he was meeting with Mohammed bin Zayed, the crown prince. Um, isn't it about time he goes home to Lebanon where people are actually starving? I mean, what is he taking with him, though? That's a big question. And where also is the U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken? I mean, Sergei Lavrov making a swing through the Gulf just days after Aramco facilities are attacked. Shouldn't the U.S. be out here talking about their Yemen moves? I asked our producer, Emma Graham, to take a quick look at the secretary's schedule, and it seems as if, Dan, he's in a hearing later today in the House. He's talking about the Biden team's foreign policy priorities. I mean, the Russians aren't just coming. They're already here. Where is the United States? That's the big question. Hopefully we'll see some action still to come on Capital Connection. The House of Mouse hits a new milestone, now topping 100 million paid subscribers on Disney. Plus, the race with Netflix is heating up. More on the streaming wars next.